Can you imagine a world without microchips? No, right? Microchips are literally everywhere. Take any gadget that you have, and you will definitely find microchips in them. As technology is growing, the global race over the making of microchips has also intensified. It's almost impossible to imagine a world without microchips. But making the microchips would not be possible without one machine that is made by a Dutch company. If you're as curious as me, let's dive in. Yes, we're talking about the microchips, the small chips made of silicon. Microchips are also called integrated circuits. It was first used in radios. It can act as a switch. We all know that the technology started growing and hence the competition to make the best microchips also started among the companies. Microchips are much more advanced and can now transfer signals much faster and more efficiently. Because of this feature, it is widely used in every type of equipment. Do you think rockets have microchips? Yes, guys, even in a piece of small technical equipment, you can find microchips. You must be a big fan of virtual reality, but that would only work with microchips. But there are a few problems in making the microchips. Mining silicon is very hectic and a difficult job. As we've already said, silicon is the base for the microchips. The companies won't be able to make more microchips if there is a scarcity of silicon. Another factor that impacted a shortage in the making of silicon is COVID-19. The pandemic affected the supply chain in the global market, but the world has started to recover from the damage that was caused by this pandemic. As of now, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, is the leading producer of microchips. A microchip will have billions of transistors and the chip will be the size of your fingernail. Have you ever wondered how these chips are measured? They're measured in nanometers. TSMC has all kinds of technology to build these nanochips. But would you believe me if I said that they wouldn't be able to make these chips if they didn't have one single machine? Making a microchip involves various steps, and among them, one particular step is very important. It's a process called photolithography. This process can only be done with a machine that is produced by a Dutch company, ASML. So what is making ASML so prominent in the chip making industry? Because it is the only company that makes photolithographic machines, it makes it very important. Do you think ASML makes microchips or semiconductors? No, this company doesn't do any of that. They only make the machine that is important for chip making. We just now cleared a common misconception. Now let us dive deep into this. What is a photolithography? And why is this process considered so important? Lithography or photolithography is a process used in semiconductors or chips to transfer geometric patterns onto the silicon wafer. This process defines the intricate circuit of the semiconductor. They are famous for its extreme ultraviolet or EUV lithography machines. This machine uses short wavelengths of light and then creates circuits. However, the main advantage of the important feature is that this process is more efficient than the traditional deep ultraviolet or DUV lithography. In EUV lithography, more transistors are packed into the same space, which increases the efficiency of the chip. You might now wonder why there is only one company that makes this machine. This is where the problem lies. The EUV technology is not a piece of cake. This process needs to overcome many scientific challenges. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that every surface absorbs the EUV rays. So the making of mirrors that have smooth surfaces that will reflect the EUV rays is a complicated task. Creating a stable EUV light source is another issue. The EUV rays are only present in outer space. You can imagine how complicated the process must be. This company's technological expertise makes them the unique in microchip manufacturing. The photolithographic machine costs $150 million. In 1984, Philips and ASM International joined together to create this marvelous company. The EUV machine has a laser-driven tin plasma light source in multi-layer mirrors that have hydrogen gas ambient. For this technology to work, it requires a vacuum. These machines are kept in highly cleaned rooms. Well, how clean could it be? 
it is 10,000 times cleaner than the atmosphere we're currently in. A small dust particle can cause damage to the machine, so it is handled very carefully. Making this EUV technology was indeed risky and costly, but they've overcome that and now the world has a highly efficient chip-making machine. These machines are bought by leading chip-making companies like Intel, TSMC, and Samsung. Shipping of this machine is another intense process since it has around 10,000 parts. They are usually shipped in 20 trucks, 40 containers, and 3 Boeing 747s. How crazy is that? China was a customer of ASML, but guess what happened? In 2019, the U.S. government under the administration of Donald Trump influenced ASML and asked them to stop all shipments to China. But has anything happened after the Trump administration was over? Not really, guys. The Biden administration also does not seem to care about this policy. Another thing is that China can assess the older technologies of ASML, like the DUV systems. However, the United States is making numerous efforts that are possible to defeat China in the microchip making race. The US does not seem to stop there. Now they're trying to stop the shipments of the older technology to China as well. China would face a hard time dealing with this. China is a generation behind in making microchips by using the available technologies of ASML. But if they block the existing technologies, then China will face a failure in their chip making. Now they are making the 7 nanometer chips, but the top companies like TSMC are making 5 nanometer chips. So what will China do if they want to continue making the chips? There's no other way than making their own photolithographic machines. But as I've mentioned earlier, making this machine is not a piece of cake. If China is going to make its own, then it will take many years. They can always try. Even the CEO of ASML tries to be supportive and gives hope to China. China indeed needs to have highly brilliant scientists to build this machine. China is in the front row in many leading technologies, but these escalating restrictions by the United States administration and the technological advancements tend to decelerate the economy there. What we understand right now is that China cannot start making the microchip machine, since it is very costly and that will hurt the national economy. The issue of microchips lies in the heart of both the United States and China. Now you know why ASML is running the microchip industry. Microchips are present in every piece of equipment that we use. Without ASML, no other company can survive. No TSMC, no Samsung, and no Intel. ASML has built its empire in this industry. The competition among the companies is also intensifying as the technology grows. What are your thoughts about China in this situation and how will they respond? Let us know in the comments section. And remember, if you like this video, smash that like button and for more similar content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That's it for today's video, we'll see you in the next one.